And we begin tonight with two teens and a police officer in the hospital after getting hit by a train. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us at 10. I'm Sherry Falk. I'm Guy Rawlings. The teens were hit this afternoon in Helena. The officer injured trying to save one of them. WVTM 13's Aaron Llewellyn is in Helena tonight. And Aaron, the teens have life-threatening injuries and now their two families are praying that their children will pull through. Guys, Sherry, there were four teens involved in today's scary moment. Neighbors say that the train tracks in this trail behind me are extremely active. Sometimes they can hear voices at night. They say that they hope that this will be a wake up call for kids to make better decisions. Two Hoover teens fighting for their lives after being hit by a train in Helena Monday afternoon. One victim was thrown down a hill 30 yards. A police officer hurt trying to rescue her. Police say two other teens narrowly escaped. That could happen to anybody. Neighbors say this picturesque trail is a popular hangout for teens. They just like ride their bikes, hang out, and then they'll come out the woods. Mariano Acosta is 12 years old. His mother, Marilyn, says she warned her children about the dangers of the trail and train tracks. A lot of times they like to play on the tracks and they don't think it's a big deal. But we know as adults how dangerous that could be. But kids just think they're invincible. These parents can't imagine getting that call. And my first concern was, were any of mine there? And then what if you were to get that awful news that your kids were involved? Because life can change in a split second. I'm sure they probably thought it out. Hey, if a train comes, you know, we'll just we'll just jump, you know. But then when the reality happens, fear is paralyzing. And you think you'll do one thing and you don't. That's why she hopes this is a wake up call for other kids. For us, it's always being vigilant because our kids love the AirPods and we're like, look, you need to be able to hear your surroundings, whether you're walking on the street, especially if you're out in the woods. And Bishop hopes parents will keep an eye on their children. Know exactly what they're doing. And, <laughs> and instead of just going out, you know, going for walks and not knowing exactly what they're doing, and, you know, and stay off of train tracks and especially bridges because you get stuck in a situation where you have nowhere to go. Now those two teens have life threatening injuries and the officer has a multiple bad sprains, but he is expected to be at work soon. Now neighbors here are expecting a full or they're praying for a full and a speedy recovery in Helena, Aaron Llewellyn, WVTM 13.